We've chosen our path. We shall ally with Esfrost and strike at the heart of the holy state of Hyzant. I cannot abide this idiocy. You will defeat Hyzant only to be conquered by Esfrost. We are well aware of Gustadolf's cunning. He shan't take advantage of us. You would ally with them only to stab them in the back later? If need be. Have you no shame? Says the king who would deliver his own people to Hyzant. Yes. You know that is not true. Hyzant will conquer all Norzelia if we give them the salt crystals. All will be forced to worship at the feet of the goddess and follow her orders. Just as the Roselle have at the source. I see House Wolford is determined to walk their path astride Esfrost. But as King of Glenbrook, I will not allow it. Lord Wolfort, I command you to march on the duchy and strike down Gustadolf. What? You remain my vassal. I dare you to defy me. Roland, your majesty. You are bound by nothing, Lord Serenoa. You are no one's vassal. What are you talking about? Now is not the time, Benedict. Lord Serenoa is not the son of Lord Simon. His true parentage is none other than His Majesty King Regna. You cannot be serious! King Regna fell in love with Lady Destra, a commoner living in the Crown City. When it came to light that she was with child, King Regna bowed to pressure from the Royalists and had Lord Simon take her in. She bore a son, who you know today as Sarah Noah, heir to House Wolfort. If this is true, and you are my elder brother, then you are not bound by my command. Hold! Roland is the one with the royal ring, is he not? Even if this story is true, is it not Roland who holds claim to the throne? Roland was not the only one entrusted with a royal ring. So you possess one as well, Saranoa. I do. It is genuine. There is no mistaking it. What Benedict says must be true. I've always admired you, Serenoa. I knew from the moment we met that you were worthy of respect. I always felt you to be my better, even as a leader. Yet I still felt a closeness with you I could never place. Now, at last, I have. Roland, I... All the more reason why I cannot concede to you now. Least of all to you, dear brother. Sarah Noah Wolfort, I challenge you to a duel. To the victor goes the crown. Pray let us think about this. On your guard, Saranoa. I do not say this in jest. Yeah! Cease this quarreling at once. Stop them, Benedict. I cannot. They must settle this here and now if we are to move forward. Listen to Benedict. This is not your fight. 
Do you have the courage of your convictions, brother? Roland, stop this madness. I have no desire to sit upon the throne. I only wish to aid you in protecting our kingdom, the only home we've ever known. I have no doubt. You've been a peerless friend. I would trust you with my life. But the truth has been revealed and our paths diverge. You said it yourself. There can only be one way forward. That has not to do with our lineage. Our bloodlines need not be shackles. Shackles? Ha! I have fought too. I know you have suffered, brother. How can you? You who had your father's love, the unwavering trust of your subjects, who proved yourself time and again so effortlessly. I ask you to prove yourself once more. Roland, please. I have toiled in your shadow while you led House Wolfort to glory. I have revered you and envied you in equal measure. I long to be like you. And I long to claim victory over you. Just once. I am not worthy of such adulation. Nor am I alone the reason we've come this far. We are all in this together. I knew you would seek to erase yourself from our history if you knew how I felt. Don't you dare shrink from me! Stand and fight so I can best you! I have no will to fight you, brother. I want none of this. But life does not always turn out how we want. Of this, you and I are now keenly aware. You asked me to put aside my feelings when you talked of joining with Esfrost. Now I ask you to do the same. Prove to me that you have what it takes to deal with Esfrost and crush Hyzant. That you can cut out a part of yourself to do what you think must be done. Show me you can create this bold new future you speak of! Very well. The scales of conviction have spoken, and House Wolfhort shall heed their word. If you would step... And so help me, as Lord of House Wolfhort, I shall cut you down where you stand. Yes. Let us see who is the better between us. On your guard. Seems it was me, dear brother. In the end, I cannot escape your shadow. Kill me. It is only fitting that it is you who strikes the final blow. What will become of Glenbrook? That is up to you. I leave the kingdom in your hands. You have the ring. The royal blood. And it was House Wolfort that reclaimed the kingdom. The people... So long as I am gone. <sighs> this is no time to waver, Lord Serenoa. King Roland initiated the duel. The terms are his to dictate. Letting him live will only prolong our troubles. You think I do not know that? You ask the impossible. My friend, my brother, is not meant to die by my hand. You are cruel in your kindness, Serenoa. I have neither the constitution nor the fortitude to be king. I cannot lead as you can, as our father did. I saw the terrifying limits of my abilities, and sought the sweet release of surrendering to a higher power. Would you have such a coward live? I've watched you confront these parts of yourself for as long as I can remember. I've watched you... 
Oh, how I admired you, my friend. How I longed to follow in your footsteps. And follow you did. But now you must overtake me. I shall. Just promise me one thing. Promise me that you will watch over me. Every breath, every step, every word from my lips. And the moment you see me stray, you will set me back on the right path. This I shall do, seeing as you bested me in combat. Farewell, Saranoa. May we never meet again as brother or friend. Not the parting I would have preferred, but as Roland himself noted, life does not always turn out as we want. Not another word, Benedict. I do not trust myself to show restraint. My love. At least we have settled on a path forward. There is work to do. King Roland! Leave me, Hewett. I cannot do that. Or have you forgotten that you are my one and only sworn liege? Then take this as an order from that liege. Serve Saranoa, as you once served me. I am the only one who need walk this path. Your Majesty. Dry your tears, Hewett. It is unbecoming for a proud member of the King's Guard. How can you say that? I never expected our parting to be like this. I am sorry. But there is something I would tell only you by way of apology. My disagreement with Sarah Noah and hatred of Esfrost were no lies. I will walk this path, carrying these feelings with me, perhaps forever. But my unwillingness to ally with Esfrost runs deeper than a personal grudge. Is it because... It is his idea of freedom I cannot trust. In a world of unbridled ambitions, people will stop at nothing to claim power. The strong will prosper, while the weak will struggle to survive. So if we join forces with Esfrost, then someday Glenbrook will... Yes. His ideals of freedom will inevitably create a clear division between the strong and the weak. I cannot... I do not think Lord Saranoa wishes for a world like that. Nor do I. But Benedict will stop at nothing to defeat Hyzant. Who knows what will happen once he joins forces with Gustadolf. I understand. You wish for me to stay and watch over House Wolfort. Yes. You must take care of Saranoa in my place. And Cordelia as well. You have my word. You needn't worry about a thing, Your Majesty. You were a loyal and true knight, Huet. And for that, you have my eternal thanks. <laughs>